Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 12.2 in our 4th grade Florida Go Math books. This lesson is called Customary Units of Length. So we're going to talk about when we're measuring length, different ways that we can measure it. Um, so we've got here, and unlock the problem, it says you can use a ruler to measure length. A ruler that is 1 foot long shows 12 inches in 1 foot. A ruler that is 3 feet long is called a yardstick. There are three feet in one yard. Now it's kind of hard to see. These little blue ones down here, they kind of have them in a little different color so that you can see there's three of them. These are the ones that you would find like in your in your classroom, what normal, normal school supply lists may call for. So this is a, a ruler, it has 12 inches in it. And this lighter color one up here is a yardstick so it has 12 plus 12 plus 12 inches which would be 36 inches or since this whole roller is equal to one foot it would be one foot two feet three feet 36 inches or three feet is how big the yardstick is so now down here they have you actually cutting out of your page to make um, what would be the same size as a normal ruler. Each of these little things that you would cut out are an inch long and you need 12 of them. You need to tape 12 of them together to make a foot. We're not going to do that, but um, we are going to, because we want to flip this page over and do the other side, so we don't want to cut it up yet. So go ahead and flip over to 450. And here on 450, we're going to compare measures. It says Emma has four feet of thread. She needs 50 inches of thread to make some bracelets. How can she determine if she has enough thread to make the bracelets? Well, we gotta see if four feet is equal to, more than, equal to, or less than 50 inches. So we're going to have to change feet into inches. And it tells us here, since one foot is 12 times as long as an inch, you can write feet as inches by multiplying the number of feet by 12. This is how I show my kids in my class. We use conversion charts. And it will say on your conversion chart, one foot equals 12 inches. So whenever you're changing from feet into inches, you just want to take the number that's in front of the feet and multiply it by 12. So, let's do that. If we have one foot, we multiply it by 12, it gives us 12. If we have two that we multiply by 12, it gives us 24. If we have three that we multiply by 12, it gives us 36. 4 multiplied by 12 gives us 48, and 5 multiplied by 12 gives us 60. So we can think that 4 feet, because we're seeing if 4 feet is how much she had, 4 feet is equal to 48 inches, and we're comparing that to the 50 inches that she needs, she needs 50 inches. So she has 48 inches, she needs 50. Since 48 is less than 50, so we write less in here, Emma does not have enough thread. She would need two more inches to get from 48 up to 50. So the what if says, well, what if she had five feet of thread? Would she have enough to make the bracelets then? So if we look back up here at our chart, five feet tells us that that's equal to 60 inches. And we were seeing if she had enough, she needed 50 inches. 60 is way bigger than 50 inches. So yes, she would have enough. She'd actually have 10 extra inches. So this lesson, you're going to be doing some conversions. 
they're going to be asking you to change feet into inches like we did here, which means just multiply the number in front of feet by 12. And they may also be asking you to change feet into yards and one foot, oops, I'm sorry, I messed this up. Three feet equals one yard. So if we turn that around, one yard is equal to three feet. If you're changing yards to feet, whatever number's in front of yards, you will multiply by three. Ignore this, this was me writing it backwards. All right, so just you have to look at how many feet it's asking you to change into inches. Multiply that number by 12. And if it's asking you to change yards into feet, look at the number that's in front of yards and multiply it by 3. So this has been 12.2. And if you have any questions, leave me a message.